Living in the modern day world, we are confronted head on with various issues on a global scale, such as environmental issues and economic turmoil. And in order to solve these difficult problems and build a peaceful, promising future, we need highly talented human resources who can fully demonstrate their capabilities in our global society. The mission of universities is to foster these types of human resources and search for academic knowledge that will contribute to the development of society. Global CIA program started in 2007 and uh, this was promoted by Japanese government. This program uh, is half the, for the uh, research and half for the uh, human development, particularly for the PhD students. And uh, our university is operating this uh, Global CIA program entitled high-level global cooperation for leader, leading-edge platform on access spaces. The access space is a very uh, new concept for the future research uh, because the engineering or the technology has been dedicated for mainly for, to the industry. However, uh, in future, more in individual oriented technology should be developed, uh, say the uh, welfare engineering or medical engineering or some others. And that was not for the uh, industry development, but the uh, technology for each person or individual. From that point of view, our global COE program is very particular and uh, very uh, distinguished from others. In terms of research, they are striving to create Access Space as a platform for new human-centered science and technology for digital support tailored to human activities. In essence, they are trying to achieve a paradigm shift from the planar Access Network that serves as the entrance to the conventional network to three-dimensional Access Space that will provide various support for human activities. As for special efforts, they are advancing with research geared at increasing the synergistic effect of four projects, including basic engineering physics for innovative platonic electronic device creation, environment embedded device technology, real world and real time network for multidimensional processing and communication, and perception and expression technology. Thus far, they have already achieved various results. In the area of fostering human resources, they are testing new approaches such as a double supervisor system in which doctoral students are instructed by both professors at Keio University and prominent professors from international partners abroad. They are also focusing their efforts on an international internship program that involves sending young researchers to collaborative sites abroad such as universities and research laboratories where the young researchers have an opportunity to be involved in joint research efforts. In addition to this, they are also developing a wide array of intense educational programs, such as international workshops planned by their young researchers, leading-edge science and technology seminars, and special lectures by prominent university professors and young researchers on the front line of corporate research, a winter camp where research results from young researchers can be discussed in English in a training camp format, and a PhD forum designed to convey information to the industrial world. Through these efforts, they are increasing the research capabilities, foreign language capabilities and planning capabilities of young researchers and also expanding the researchers' international network of personal contacts. As a result, they are fostering young researchers equipped with comprehensive individual abilities and then sending those researchers out into the industrial world and academic community. With the Global COE program, KO University is vigorously advancing with the formation of an international center of excellence unlike any other from the perspective of research and human resource development.